Hello everyone and welcome to my video showcasing the newest weapon to old school RuneScape, the Karis Partisan. In this video I'll be showcasing how good the Karis Partisan is on and off task on all of the Calphite creatures. If you enjoy this video, a like would be much appreciated, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future. With that being said, let's jump right into the video. For those who aren't aware, the Karis Partisan is a reward from the quest Beneath Cursed Sands, which requires contact, 62 agility, 55 crafting, and 55 fire making. It requires 65 attack to wield and has 4 attack styles, stab attack xp, stab strength xp, crush strength xp, and stab defense xp. For those of you wondering, it is pure and zerk friendly. The weapon has two special effects, one dealing 33% bonus damage against all calphites and scarabite creatures, and the other being a 1 in 51 chance of dealing triple damage of what you would have hit. If you're curious, the max hit is actually 195 with max gear, max strength, and everything along that lines. In the future, they plan on expanding upon this weapon with the release of the newest raid, Tombs of a Mascot, but that won't be released for at least a few months. For those curious, here is a DPS calculation showcasing how well the Karis Partisan performs versus all of the Calphite creatures with my current gear and stats on and off task. As I stated, the absolute max hit of the Karis Partisan with max gear, stats, and everything is a 195 with the 1 in 51 effect. That is a massive hit, and we'll see if we can hit anywhere close to that today, so let's go ahead and continue. Now that I've shown you guys what the weapon has to offer and the DPS calculations, let's go ahead and slap some Calphites and see how good it actually is in practice. Starting off with the Calphite workers, I don't think I need to go too far in depth on these creatures as I can one hit them on and off task and you're going to be really accurate no matter what. As you can see, I'm hitting quite a few 40s. I think it's like, what is it, 60% chance of one hitting them? I'm probably doing my math wrong. Maybe it's closer to 40%, somewhere around there with the current gear and stats I have. If I do choose to use the face guard, though I have no reason why you would kill these guys off task as they don't drop too much special. I... Uh, it's probably a little bit lower to one hit them, but I, I really don't need to discuss these guys too much as it is still worth using the partisan if you're trying to get through your cow fight task faster. Uh, I do think it's better than like rapier and so forth, but there isn't much more to be said. The next creatures I'm going to go over are the Calphite Soldiers, and this one I want to spend a little bit of time discussing, as Cannon and Calphite Soldiers is actually a pretty meta way of gaining Slayer XP. I think it could be 65k upwards. Slayer XP per hour. You can get some insane raids with max gear, uh, cannon with granite cannonballs, and so forth. I don't have the cannonballs, nor do I have max gear on this account. Though I will say the Karis Partisan is absolutely going to give you slightly more XP per hour, just because you're going to have a chance of just one-hitting these guys. Yes, your aggro sort of comes from the cannon. You're going to be aggroing a lot of these guys just by getting the cannon and getting them aggroed to you, but there will be some times where they spawn right under you, you attack them, and you just slap them a 90. You can one-hit these things on and off task, with the Karis Partisan with the 1 in 51 effect. Uh, I don't seem to be doing that too much in this clip. Uh, I don't know if I even will in this clip as I'm not going to extend this too much further. Though I will say using the Karis Partisan here over using any other weapon is definitely something you want to be doing. As I don't... Let me go ahead and reset the XP tracker just so I can kind of see what type of XP rates we get. I'll just let this run for a good 30 more seconds. And you also get insult heads from these guys. So I would recommend if you have the cannonballs to do this task. I don't have too many, so I'll be just be doing it for the clip in this video. And I guess we can go ahead and give the Slayer XP a check. I guess we're not getting too much as we haven't let it run for an, uh, a decently long time, but I'm guessing with Max Gear and the new Chaos Partisan, 70k XP an hour is what I'm going to guess you'll probably be able to get. I may be way off, and I know this video is supposed to be informative, not just me guessing, but I, I feel like that is a very good guess just based on my experience as I've done quite a few tasks here. The next Calphite creature on the list is the Calphite Guardians and here is where I think it starts to get crazy. These guys have 170 HP and with this weapon, that was just a normal hit by the way, a 56 as you just saw there, I can actually one hit these guys from full HP. That is pretty crazy. I do need to hit the 1 in 51 chance and I will definitely keep recording until I hit a 1 in 51 chance. I'm not going to record until I one hit them as it's astronomically low for me to actually one hit them. The thing is, though, it is possible. That's what makes this weapon insane. It is possible to one hit a level 141 on task, these Calphite Guardians. Absolutely insane. I think if you have max gear, it's possible to do it off task. 
With the Nezanot face guard and my current gear, I cannot actually one hit them off task. My max hits 159 with the face guard, 177 with the partisan, and as you see, there is a nice 73. There it is, 145. I wanted to keep going until I got one big hit in, even got the Insul Calphite head. Really shows how good the Karis Partisan is, and one thing I did want to also mention about these guys is I think they could be considered to actually do, like, really on a Slayer task. Uh, a lot of people would never consider this before the Karis Partisan came out, as they kind of had a decent amount of defense level. I think it's like 300... No, it's the Calphite Queen. Uh, it has some defense levels, so it was just never even, I think, ever considered to do this on task. I think some people would say spot it, but I think with the Karis Partisan... And you get like a few of these guys, so maybe if you go to the Slayer only area, they could actually be considered to just kill on task. It's a decent task. You get Ruin items like the Ruin Medhelm and Ruin Chain Body. You get some OK herbs. I think they're very solid now. Definitely something that should be considered now more than ever, especially now that you can one hit these guys. One hitting a creature, hitting 170, is not something that you could do every day. And I don't even think that was even possible to hit anywhere close to that before the Karis Partisan came out. So very nice, and it's very fun to hit these big things. And the final Calphite creature I'll be testing is the Calphite Queen. Now it's very easy to trap the Calphite Queen, so I will be flinching the Calphite Queen probably with the Karis Partisan. I will be doing both phases with melee, so I will be able to flinch both phases, so I should be taking a minimal amount of damage. As you can see here, I'm not even trying to get it trapped as I haven't even gotten the little guys out, and I've already gotten it pretty decently trapped as I say that he goes and gets an attack on me. And we're going to see what this Karis Partisan can really do. I definitely say the Karis Partisan was made for the KQ. It's definitely where it will probably perform the best. As hitting that 180 or whatever I can actually hit is going to matter the most when killing the Calphite Queen. My max hit on the Calphite Queen will not want to hit it in Phase 1, nor will it want to hit it in Phase 2. And it's going to take out a decent portion of the Calphite Queen's HP. And in theory, I can actually 4-hit the Calphite Queen with the Karis Partisan. Now that is in theory, and it's very unlikely to happen. It'll probably never happen to me, but I'm sure it'll happen to someone. And maybe with the new gems from the Tombs of Amascus raid, someone will be able to, like, 2-hit the Calphite Queen. I'm not sure if there's going to be any gems that'll let you do that, but who knows before the future. First Calphite Queen kill. Pretty unfortunate, I'm only going to get one kill this trip but I couldn't spawn too many of the workers, so not too bad. And I also did not get any procs of the 1 in 51 chance to hit a max hit. And I am also doing this quote-unquote off-task as I'm using the face guard over the Slayer Helmet, as you do actually need, do need to kill the Calphite Queen once for the Hard Desert Diary, and you need to kill it up to 256 times in order to get the Calphite Head for the Elite Diary. So... Pretty much anyone that wants to complete diaries will have to kill the Calphite Queen at some point. So I'm still on the same trip that I got my last Calphite Queen kill, so I'm very happy about that, that I don't actually have to bank and get multiple kills per trip. And fortunately, I got all the Calphite workers lured, so I can actually just kill the Calphite Queen like this. Very, very nice. Don't have to worry about taking any damage and can easily flinch it. And with the Karis Partisan and your flinching, if you do hit that 1 in 51 chance while flinching, you can hit a massive number on the Calphite Queen. So that's what I'm hoping for. Aw, uh, there it is. 108 on Calphite Queen's second form. We did get the big hit in. I will say though, the Partisan is not performing as well on the second phase, but if you do hit a big hit, that definitely increases your DPS by quite a bit. So that is pretty nice. Uh, it still ends up being a decently fast kill. It's nothing crazy as you are flinching, but while you're flinching, you don't take any damage, but setting up the flinch, you often take damage. I think after this kill, I will go ahead and grab the Slayer Helmet out, and then we'll do some kills with the Slayer Helmet and see how that goes. I imagine with the Slayer Helmet, the first phase is going to get shredded, and the second phase may actually not be as bad. As you can see here, I'm hitting quite a few zeros or low hits, but with the Slayer Helmet, maybe the Partisan can be good for both phases. We have made it back to the Calphite Queen. I am super excited to actually use the Slayer Helmet on this boss. I'm pretty... Yeah, just excited to see the big hits. 59, like I said, I think it's going to be my max hit. So let's get into it, see what we can hit, and maybe we can get a big proc and see what we hit off the big proc. That was a very fast first phase there. I hit almost no zeros, maybe one zero there at the beginning. I'm very impressed with the Slayer Helmet. Let's see how it does in phase two. And there is a full Calphite Queen kill. Honestly, that was not bad at all. 
I thought the second phase would be a lot tankier, which it was, but not crazy. I think I hit three, maybe four zeros there, which may sound like a lot, but the other hits I was hitting was like 52, 53, 46 I saw. That's crazy for the second phase. And the fact is, I didn't really use much food except for the setup there. So if I can consistently get that down, we can get some pretty lengthy trips, which in my opinion at Calfight Queen is the most important thing. Uh, even if I kill it a lot slower, I'd much rather have longer trips because banking and running back to this boss is not fun. Starting this kill off with a BGS of a 47 into, let's see what other BGS is going to be, is going to be a 41, so we might see some very big Karis Partisan hits here. There is another kill of the Calfight Queen on task. Again, it went very, very well, and we... Got ourselves a dragon chain body, so I guess it did go very, very well. Not too bad with eight kills into the uh, task, but that's not what we're here for. We're just here testing the Karis Partisan. I am going to keep going until we get one of those big Chitlin hits. Dang, that's like 55 I just hit on him. Not even a Chitlin hit, not even fully potted. That's crazy. This thing is very, very good. Didn't turn on Pity there, so I hit a zero. I am very impressed. I haven't even hit a BGS on this kill so far, and it's gone extremely fast. And unfortunately, we just hit a vicious blow when he had 2 HP left. Man, I really would have wanted to know what that would have hit. Let's see if we can hit something big on the second phase. Aw, oh, there it is. A 93 to kill the Calphite Queen. Not too bad. Not too bad. I still want to keep going. I want to hit bigger than the 108 I think I hit. Off task, I want to see some really giant hit. The max hit I can hit is 177. I want to get as close to that as possible, so we will go for another big hit. Aw, oh, there it is. The big hit I wanted to see, 156. That's definitely not the max hit, but that's insane. That's a big hit. 156. Bye-bye, Calphite Queen's HP. I actually needed to throw a spec in, but I don't even care. That's awesome. Uh, that's, I think... Probably the biggest hit I'm going to see, at least unless I do this for an entire task, which I don't plan to. I do need to get the Calphite Queen head eventually, and honestly, maybe I will uh, use the Karis Partisan on task to get the uh, Calphite Queen head. Because this may not be the most efficient thing, the Karis Partisan on the second phase of KQ. That being said, I do think first phase of KQ and every other Calphite creature and Scarebite creature, this thing is the most efficient. During the second phase, as you can see, I do hit quite a few zeros, so it's definitely not the most efficient. I would definitely stick to range or magic. It's more fun though. Just seeing big numbers, in my opinion, on RuneScape is one of the most fun things in the game. And the Karis Partisan, as far as I'm aware, is the weapon to see the biggest number with now. It can hit 177 with my gear, 195 with max gear. So if you have max gear, go and try it out in the KQ. I bet it would be a lot of fun to see 195. And who knows in the future, when they add more gems to the uh, Karis Partisan, like maybe hit 200s with uh, a new gem added to it in the future. If it that's so, I'll have to make an update in the future. However, I do think this uh, video shows how good the Karis Partisan is and kind of how fun it is as well because it is a game at the end of the day and hitting these make numbers has really been a lot of fun so in the making of this video i've had a blast and i hope this video has been helpful to you guys with that being said i guess i'll leave you with this cow fight queen kill ah uh, and a 58 at the end of the kill and that is the last cow fight queen kill anything special from this one we get the budget Dragon Chain Body, though. We did already get one this episode, so I can't complain. I had a lot of fun, like I said, making this video. I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching. And if you guys get your hand on the Karis Partisan, definitely try it out. It is a lot of fun to hit these 100 pluses. Anyway, with that being said, I'll see you guys with a new Group Iron Man episode very soon. And until then, I'll see you later.